Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to have another recipe. This one is called barbecue chip chicken. And really you can do this with any kind of chips that you like. Um, I've done some of them already just for time's sake for the video. In here we have crushed barbecue chips. I find the best way to crush them is to let just a little bit of air out of the bag. Roll over them with a rolling pin. In this bowl we have one beaten egg and a half a cup of buttermilk. And on this plate, we have just plain flour with just a little bit of salt and pepper in it. Now you want to take your chicken that you have flattened out as much as possible. Dredge it in your flour mixture. Then run it through your buttermilk and egg mixture. Coating it well, but shaking off the excess. Then when you put it in your smushed up barbecue chips here, you want to try to pat them in as much as you can so that they don't come loose while they're cooking. And when you are flattening out your chicken breast to get ready for this recipe, be very careful how you do that because you don't want raw chicken juice splattering all over your kitchen. I wrap mine up in parchment paper where it's all completely sealed on all four sides. Then use the meat cleaver to beat it out flat and that way you're not slinging chicken juice anywhere. And once you have that completely coated in your barbecue chips, you're going to put it, this is a pan that I have lined with tin foil only for ease of cleanup after it's um, done. Now we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes and we'll be back with the results. We're going to make our potato salad. Now in the south there are a hundred different opinions on the best way to make potato salad but the most important thing about making potato salad is make it in something with a lid on it. You do not want to get up the next morning and open your refrigerator and smell potato salad. So I have about three potatoes that I have cut up, peeled, cut up, and boiled. And to that we're going to add two chopped boiled eggs. We're going to add just a little bit of sweet Vidalia onion and green onion, just enough to give it a little crunch, not enough to be overpowering. We're going to add, this is a mixture of salt, pepper, season, um, <clears throat> garlic, and celery seed. That's just to your taste how much you want to put in there. It's always easier to add more. You can't take it out, so start with a little and then add it as you go. Now, some people like sweet relish in their potato salad. Some people like dill relish in their potato salad. Mine, I grew up with a little bit of each, and that's how I do it. So we have one spoon of sweet relish. And we're going to put in two spoons of dill relish. And that is also to taste. If you want just sweet or just dill, you do that. You want more or less, just taste it as you go and adjust your recipe. And then we're going to add some mayonnaise. This is the only kind of mayonnaise I like. And it's the same thing with the mayonnaise. Start out with just a little, and because you don't want it to be too runny, you can always go back and add some. I also put a little bit of Dijon mustard in mine, not just plain yellow mustard. I think that's too strong. We're going to mix it all up. Potato salad is a very personal to your own taste thing, so feel free to experiment. Some people put chopped celery and chopped bell peppers in theirs. I don't do that. My husband doesn't like celery or bell peppers. You want to stir it up really well so that all those seasonings that you put in there get mixed in real well. And 
Now when you have it all mixed in together, you can taste it and see if your seasonings are right. I've done this long enough, I know how much to put in ours. And that is how simple it is to make southern potato salad. We'll be back.